Jasper, I hardly know her. You could at least pretend to laugh, Jerry. Hey there, kids, it's me, Safari Sam. And today, we're going to check out another really cool batch of geological Jeffreys. Today's episode, Red Jasper. Yeah, you've seen Red Jasper on the show before. In the episode where we bought some dig kits from a museum gift shop and dug up a bunch of little stones and fossils, uh, you saw like five very tiny pieces of Red Jasper. These pieces are much larger here. Just some facts about Jasper. Uh, it's a type of quartz. You know, the quartz family is very large. The largest family with an enormous variety of gemstone material in just every color you could imagine. Quartz is composed primarily of silica, SiO2, which we all know. Oh, I mean, I guess we do. I don't care. And it's formed when silica-bearing solutions infiltrate porous rocks and sediments. Now, this silica then becomes impregnated into the porous rock and changes the rock into what we call quartz. Jerry, that's legit the second time the script has told me to call it impregnated. How does that keep happening? That's so weird. As you can clearly see here, Jasper is an opaque quartz, usually red like these, but it can also be yellow, brown, green, or even a mixture of these colors. These specific specimens are from Africa. You know where the rains are? Well, occasionally. Anyways, there's some very nice specimens. I really like these. The museum got them for less than a buck each. Very good deal on these big old boys. Really like the Jasper. Really like this piece. Very cool. And then we're going to move on into everybody's least favorite segment. What is this? So, oftentimes on this show, I will show you a specimen at the end of the episode and have you identify it in the comments section down below. And then, in the very next episode, exactly a week later, I reveal the identity of the specimen. This was last week's, and I asked you all to identify it. Yeah, it's a very common fossil, about second common, second most common in the world. It is the ammonite. Yeah, it's a little ammonite. It's just real squished up, so it's hard to tell, which is why I decided to use it for this What Is This segment, and not because uh, it was free. Mm. Uh, yeah, so that's... Oh, shit. Okay, well, that's gone. That's gone forever. Uh, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know what to do here. <sighs> but now I suppose we have to move on to our very next. What is this? Here is this week's specimen. So tell me. What is this? It's just a chunk of something. It's related to previous What Is This segments. So if you've been keeping up with the show, you'll have seen similar specimens. It desperately needs to be cleaned, get some acid, some hot water, some soap. And what I really need to be handling it with is one, caution instead of dropping it, and two, gloves. <sighs> but I'm gonna disinfect and wash right after. So. Please tell me, what is this? Let me know in the comments below, and I will tell you next week uh, in the new episode of Safari Sam every Friday at 3.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's it. Thank you once again for your support. If you want to buy things to support the show, we have an eBay page, we've got a merch page, and we also have a Patreon. So that is it. Thank you all once again. I'll see you all next time. Bye for now. Who? I think that we're going to get a lot of basic identification, but if anyone can get more specific with that specimen, that'll be pretty impressive. Jerry, I am speaking to you. Just because you're not mic'd up doesn't mean you don't have to talk to me.